This program is brought to you by Guiding Light Assembly. If we just rise to our feet as we take time to pray for our nation. You know, as we... The older we get, the more we train ourselves to think and see based on reality. We kind of lose sight of our imagination. I want us to just center ourselves and if we just have to close our eyes for a moment and understand what it is that happens when we pray. We're standing in the presence of God where he deserves all our attention, all our focus. See the roads paved in gold. And imagine the water lapping over your feet because from the throne flows the rivers of living water. And bursting almost from under your feet is a tree that grows on both sides of the water. The tree of life. And as you look forward, you see the throne of God. God seated upon the throne. The sun at his right hand side. If you look to your left and to your right, there are six winged angels. Praising him. We come before the majesty of the Father. Shindiribashandaribusataya. What distant thoughts have left you when you stare at the glory of God? Every distraction melts away and the singular focus is Him. Do you even have the courage to stay standing before the majesty of God? Or do you fall at your feet <laughs> like the 24 elders who cast their crown and say all authority I send away from myself. I give every authority that I have to you. And this is the one thing as Pastor Michael has been talking about Samuel. Samuel was taught in the early days of his walk with God. One instrumental prayer. Speak, God. Your servant is listening. As we come before the throne of heaven, God, what do you have to say? What are you saying about this nation? What are you saying about these elections? What are you saying that you desire for your people to do? What are you saying that we ought to change? What are you saying needs to be different about the patterns of our thoughts and our actions? Speak, God. Your servant is listening. She ba 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 san de 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 de. She ba 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 san de 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 de
Oh, God says we should not rely on our own wisdom, but the wisdom that comes from heaven. He says in James 3 that that wisdom, that wisdom is pure. That wisdom is impartial. Our wisdom is integral. It has integrity. It remains true. Speak, your servants are listening. Yeah. She 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 how would you have us conduct ourselves this week how would you have us conduct ourselves this week Oh, we want to hear you, Lord. What are you doing in this nation? What are you doing in this moment, Lord? We want to hear you, God. We want to hear from you. We're tired of asking you to bless our choices and our wisdom and our understanding. No. We want to hear what your wisdom is. God all by yourself. And oh. Oh. Have your way, have your way, have your way. 
have your way. God, we have come to acknowledge that we are your servants in this land. All we are called to do is what you are doing. To stand before you, to watch you, to hear you, and to obey you. Help us to walk only where you are guiding us. This nation cannot change unless we are perfectly obedient to your will. Speak to us, O God. Speak to us, O God. We incline our ears to you, O God. Let the very focus of our hearts, not simply in this moment, not right now, but throughout this week, be God. What is flowing from the throne of heaven? What is your heart for this nation? What is your heart? What is your heart? What is your heart? And help us, oh God, to obey not delayed obedience that takes us two weeks, one month, two years. No. Help us to obey like Abraham. And we wake up early the next morning. And what God said, we do it there and then. Speak, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.